morning everybody. I'm making my way off the island this morning. So I'm just heading to my ferry terminal for an hour wait for the ferry. <laughs> it's a little stressful today because I did my campsite is a first come first serve so I really want to make sure I get on this ferry but then I have another one too that I hope are kind of synced up. I don't know. And if I can't get into my campsite, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. But hopefully it's not a problem. Everything's gonna work out, right? Alright. Alright, well um Kins Beach was really pretty. I got a really brilliant sunrise this morning and I was up for a bit last night just listening to the surf and looking at the stars. It's very, very nice. Very relaxing. But I think I'm ready to get off the island and like not deal with um, ferry schedules and I have a couple more first come first serve campsites. I don't really enjoy that. Even though a reservation is still kind of a lashing, like it's nice to know that you have a guaranteed place to rest no matter what time you get there, basically. Yes, yeah. Anyway, I'm almost at the ferry terminal already. It's a really short rip. That's why I picked that campsite. <laughs> so yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, bye. So here we go, I made it. Leaving Comalx, next stop Powell River. It's a nice ferry. It's, you can see the beach better from here than the parking lot. I'd want that to be closed before they started rolling. No. Yay. Too late to change my mind now. My fate is sealed. Powell River, here I come. nice here
chilly today. So that sunshine. All right, I'll let you know. It's a pretty boat. Hmm? I'll let you know when I get to the next ferry and how all that turns out. Alright. Wish me luck. It's supposed to be a beautiful drive down the coast, so I'm pretty stoked for that. So this is the ferry terminal at Saltery Bay to Earl's Cove. But it's just as I feared. It's a big wait. The next sailing's at 2.30 and it's not even noon yet. So by the time I get to my campsite, I'm not sure they'll have any spots for me. So, while well, I look at this beauty and starve to death because I have been rushing too fast to eat and I fell asleep on the last ferry. Um, gonna whip out I Overlander and see if I can find some backup spots. Hi. had a long ass day too. I hope it wasn't an emergency. Coast. This has probably been the most boringest day of motorcycling I've ever had. <laughs> it has been a lot of waiting and a lot of sailing, but the views from those ships are stunning. But holy shit, it's 3.30 and I've barely ridden a freaking mile yet. So this is going to be good. And my plan, I uh, figured if uh, I'll head to the campground I had in mind, and if they have no sites available, what I'll do is I'll just press on and get on the ferry to Horseshoe Bay. And then uh, try to find a campsite over on that side and then be done with the ferries for this trip. But if they have a spot for me, I'll take it. It's been a long day, and I could use some bloody hoots. As long as no aliens come and steal my weed. All right, I'll talk to you later. I got about an hour to go to get to Roberts Creek, and then we'll see if I'm heading to Horseshoe Bay or setting up a tent. been part of a bike gang before but like all these bikes are on the ferry and uh, it kind of feels pretty badass to be riding with so many other bikers. It's kind of cool. Um, I just turned the camera on to check out this little strip of highway. This is the Sunshine Coast Highway and this is it's the whole thing is like this. Just Corner after corner after corner <laughs> after corner. Uh, that's the kind of engineer I want in my life. All right. That's cool, though, hey? So I made it to Roberts Creek. Provincial Park. It's really nice here. All the forests on the island are really nice. 
it brings up the nerd in me because it just reminds me of Endor and that was like <laughs> the funnest movie I had ever seen up to that point. I love the ferns, you know, we just don't have ferns where I'm from. But yeah, so I guess I'll stay here tonight and then I'll head up to Gibson's early in the morning and start the ferry process one more time. But finding this place at 4.30 p.m. on a Friday in August as a first come first serve campsite um, makes me feel pretty good oops it's campsite 2 not 20 <laughs> I'll just make some corrections and uh, I'll talk to you later okay bye just stopped in Gibson's. If any of you are old, you'll know it from a show called The Beachcombers. I used to love that show. Um, I just stopped at breakfast at Molly's Reach, which is really cool. But then I realized I was finished early and the next ferry is at 9.30. So I'm gonna try and rip it there and see if I can make it on that ferry. If not, the next one's at 11. So. I might as well, right? Give it a go. But I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not worried about it. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And if I have a long wait, maybe I'll come back. Anyways, I'll see you on the other side of the water. But so far this is it for the Sunshine Coast. Um, the waits for the ferries have been kind of lame. The scenery has been incredibly beautiful. The traffic has been kind of lame. The roads have been magnificent. <laughs> I don't know, I don't regret coming here though. This has been fantastic. All right, I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Well, good news, I just rolled up to the terminal. He's like, return fare, you don't even need to pay. Just go line up with the bikes. And I'm loading already. <laughs> oh, I waited two and a half hours for a ferry yesterday and about five minutes for this one. I guess that evens out. bump in the ferry. Wow, this feels so weird. <laughs> this is probably the coolest loading I've had so far. This place is pretty amazing. Definitely gonna miss the scenery. Being next to the ocean is really cool too. Just love like little jetties of land like that. But 
next stop Horseshoe Bay, back to the mainland. No more ferries till I get to the Kootenays. So this is my last little boat ride, which is good. I was like scared of big boats. And this is sort of helped that, I guess. I'd still be terrified if something happened, but getting on one doesn't seem as scary as it was before. And that's what all this is about, right? Learning to not be a little scaredy cat. Because life isn't as scary as I think it is. Alright, I'll see you on the shore. I'm a seafarer now. <laughs> Bye. Alright, here we are in Horseshoe Bay. That was a super pretty ferry ride. Lots to see. But I'm also kind of glad that I'm done with ferries for a little while. That's a little bit of stress. My next stop, I'm heading up to Squamish. I'm gonna stop at a Starbucks there and see if I can get some Wi-Fi. I'm having trouble accessing my banking app, and I want to know what I got left in there because that's helpful. These guys are going to the same place I am because we were locked in fairy hell together yesterday. All right, uh, we'll get back to you later. I'm heading to a BC Hydro wreck site today. Supposedly it's free, so we'll see if there's a spot and we'll see if I have to pay for it. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. Ah, oh, I remember this road from last time. Such a beautiful highway. The Sea to Sky Highway. Not quite on it yet, but it's uh, a nice little side road to access to it. For sure. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! you can make out the color of that water but it is fantastic of course <laughs> turn the camera on you can't see it anymore but uh super cool last time i was through this way it was raining like a son of a gun so this is really cool to be able to see S something besides mist <laughs> Alright, well I just wanted to show you how cool that watercolor was. It's almost like a slate gray, bluish kind of color rather than dark sea. Super neat. But uh, a lot of traffic jams this weekend. Oh, here's another chance to see the water. We're going really slow too. There you go.
pretty, eh? Alright, better concentrate on what I'm doing here. Uh, that's what I've been looking for. Hmm. Tall mountains with snow on them in the summertime. It is the best ever. Rolling through traffic. Just about everywhere in this uh, nick of the woods is a pain in the ass. I'm like literally slipping the clutch in second gear <laughs> like kilometers. I don't know. I'll never understand why they put street lights and intersections on a highway. Like that's that's why they invented the overpass. I never got to see any of this last time because it was so rainy and misty. I couldn't see these mountain peaks. But look at that. Oh my goodness. That is just stunning. And it's just going to get more and more grandiose as I head closer and closer to the Rocky Mountains. Absolutely love it. Alright, so about an hour and a half from my campsite. Keep your fingers crossed, there's a spot available! Here's my home for the night. It's not much to look at. It's surrounded by gorgeous mountains. And it's free! I just had to register, but there wasn't even any registration cards, so... I just tore off a scrap piece of paper from one of the... bulletins on the bulletin board. I don't know. So I don't really think anyone's gonna come and check. Otherwise, there'd be cards there from when they checked last time and noticed no one was there. Bear in the area. That's always scary.